Guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. And uh, we are going to tell you, we are going to tell you, well, this video is going to be about how to pass uh, inspection, that dreaded inspection that everybody, as far as I know, everybody hates because they know that they'll probably have to spend money one way or another. Um, so, uh, this, this particular video is on, um, the, uh, check engine light issue and how to pass inspection if you do have a check engine light on your dash. So if you guys don't know too much about cars and, uh, why that check engine light exists, that check engine light exists because your computer is hooked up. Your car's computer. Your car has an, uh, a, a computer. Uh, it's called the ECU. Uh, and it, it goes by a couple other names. The transmission also has a computer. But anyway, uh, the uh, simple fact is the car has a computer. It's hooked up to a bunch of sensors throughout your car. And those sensors relay information to uh, your to the computer telling, uh, you know, uh, telling your computer whether the output uh, on each of those components is correct or not and whether the sensors are good or not or working properly or not so basically obviously uh the uh, check engine light issue is a huge issue uh with all cars in general well most cars in general um it'll, you 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 have it come up every once in a while from this because of uh, uh, the smallest issue to a huge uh, issue that could probably be damaging your engine or transmission. But for the most part, a lot of people, uh, the, uh, the the major issue uh, that is causing the check engine light for the most part is pretty much an emissions issue or maybe a vacuum leak or maybe a vacuum leak or an emissions issue, which... A lot of times they kind of coincide because of uh, all the sensors, the O2 sensors. I mean, all the components actually work together. So um, obviously you're going to have, um, you know, if one component has an issue, it's going to be very difficult. A lot of times, uh, sometimes it depends on um, who you have a, as a mechanic or whether you are a mechanic or not. Uh, it's, sometimes it's very, very difficult to figure out. <clears throat> anyway, um, here's the situation. You have a check engine light issue. You've probably had it for uh, um, a while during the year. And then your inspection's coming up and you need to get that check engine light off. And because you can't pass inspection with the check engine light. And that is a fact. Any check engine light. Uh, that is on your dash, you won't be able to pass inspection. So if you guys are in this situation, the um, best thing to do is to figure out why you're getting the check engine light, all right? So you can figure out why you're getting that check engine light by, you could go to AutoZone, Advanced Auto. <clears throat> they have... Uh, uh, an OBD2 reader. They have a free service where they can plug an OBD2 uh, scanner and scan your car for the codes. And it'll give you exactly, well, exact. Everything is relative. Um, sometimes it'll give you an exact reason why you're getting the check engine light. Sometimes It'll give you a general reason why you're getting the check engine light. But for the most part, um, if you do get that uh, scan, you kind of know, you know, what to look for. All right. Sometimes it could be as simple as getting a new, new gas cap because for whatever reason, um, if your gas cap is worn or it's not uh, closing tightly, uh, those gas leads can the gas, uh, uh, gas leak, uh, the, uh, the, the airing out of the gas fumes could cause, 
could trip up uh, it, you know your check engine light for an emissions leak or whatever all right and uh, that's um, a big thing as far as the uh, check engine light is concerned all right a big thing meaning that uh, there is a uh, I guess for lack of a better word um, if you want to start with with uh, trying to get rid of the check engine light uh, that's probably the easiest and cheapest place to go as far as resolving this issue change up your gas cap all right uh, if you're getting especially if you are getting a general code for an emis emissions leak that doesn't actually specifically tell you where where exactly whether it's a specific cylinder that's misfiring or a specific sensor that's uh, that's uh, you know off or or whatever if, it, if, if it's just a general code for an emissions leak um, definitely try that uh, gas cap is probably no more than $12 buy one pop it in or you could try closing your gas cap tighter possibly all right so first thing or you could um you could go out and buy an obd2 scanner if you don't want to go to autozone constantly go to autozone because they can't delete <clears throat> they can't clear the codes um either by law or because of liability issues with the company they can't clear the code if and when you go in and they scan the code for you <clears throat> all right so you definitely um, for the most part would need to know um, what the code is now if you guys are in a situation where um, you, you don't have that much money uh, you don't have a, a mechanic that you can trust and unfortunately there are a lot of bad mechanics out there there are, there are shops that just really don't care about your situation outside of making money and you don't actually trust them to diagnose what the issue what the issue is. You don't want to just throw out money out the window, leaving your car there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All right. You want to be uh, the kind of person who cares about your car, who um, uh, are into DIYing, do it yourself as far as figuring out the situation is and, and fixing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Definitely get an OBD2 scanner. All right, once you get the OBD2 scanner, what you can do is you can try to tighten the gas cap. All right, clear the codes because the OBD2 scanner that you have can clear the codes, which all OBD2 scanners can do. You can buy a cheap $20 OBD2 scanner from Walmart and you can clear the codes at any time. It'll clear the light off your dash. It'll clear the code from the computer system. However, um, obviously, however, probably not obviously if you're not uh, familiar with how the whole um, drive cycle works and, and, and how the computer works as far as monitoring each and every uh, sensor uh, in your car. So in this situation, after you clear the codes, you would have to you would have to complete a drive cycle. Um, basically, you would have to drive the car anywhere from twenty five to forty, sometimes up to a hundred miles, and and um, and uh, see if the light pops up. See if the check engine light pops up. If it doesn't, uh, over you know if it doesn't, plug your OBD two reader uh, scanner in, and uh, just make sure that. <clears throat> Um, about eight, eight, eight uh, monitors. Monitors are the sensors are complete. Um, it's um, you can have one of them incomplete. I believe you can have one of them incomplete, and you can have the other seven completed. But you need to get at least most of them complete, like seven out of the eight complete. Okay, you can you can. All right, so once. Once that's the case, you can actually just drive it and have it inspected and it'll pass inspection. However, if you are in a situation where 
where the check engine light pops back up after driving maybe 15 miles because there is an issue that <clears throat> that is uh, recurring. Um, obviously, <clears throat> you're going to have to fix that situation. You have, you're going to have to figure out what that situation is. You're going to have to fix it. All right. But good thing about it is <clears throat> once you get it fixed um, and if you're doing it yourself, once you get it fixed or change out the part or whatever, you can plug in your OBD2 scanner, delete it, the codes, the check engine light, drive it uh, 25, 40 miles, uh, make sure that uh, all the monitors clear and then you guys and then you can take it to um, the shop to get it inspected all right um, obviously there is no um, easy fix as far as um, there's no there's no magical fix if there is a situation with a component that you literally need to change out to get that light off because that component is tripping up um, the, ch the check engine light or some portion of the car is 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 uh, or the computer is reading that you know uh, that uh, there is a problem with the data that it's getting from one of the sensors obviously you're going to have to troubleshoot that and figure out what that situation is in any case um, if you guys um or up for inspection for up uh, if you're up for an inspection definitely make sure that uh, you have time definitely make sure that you leave time uh, to get whatever it is that needs to get fixed fixed before the month is up obviously because um, you know you can get a ticket they're, they're always looking for expired inspection tickets um, the uh, you know, parking attendants or whatever, parking attendants, um, police, um, ticket attendants, you know, they're always a around, you know, giving tickets for expired uh, stickers, obviously. So leave yourself some time to get whatever it is fixed and then get it inspected. All right. So hopefully this has helped you guys out. If you have any questions, please definitely leave a question in the comment section. Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, all that good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.